Okay, so new Yeet album. A lot of album videos recently, I can't lie. Cover for this one is probably the coldest piece of album art I've seen in a while. And I guess the album's okay as well. But regardless, in today's one, I'm going to be trying to make a beat in the style of Yeet's new album, 2093. Okay, this style of beat is a bit out of my comfort zone and I've attempted this style already a couple times on the channel so I have a bit of experience but let's just see what I can do. I think for BPM I'm gonna go for like 131. I might just look for like a two bar sound. I don't think I ever made a video on Synth Palace 2. Genuinely, thank you Jack for sending this to me. Definitely one of my favorite kits for this kind of thing. I'm just gonna drop it an octave as well. Getting somewhere. And just like that, it begins. Like, honestly, making a Yeet type B for me, basically a speedrun for how many instances of serum it'll take to give me tinnitus. I also recently picked up this crazy serum bank. I'm not sponsored or anything, I just know someone's gonna ask about it. Pretty useful for this kind of stuff. extend this pattern by another eight bars. That's number two. At what point do I just stop counting? I'm not being too transparent in just how little thought I'm putting into this, but I don't know, man. I wish I was more methodical with this kind of stuff, but I'm just not. Alright, we're on number three so far. <laughs> Oh nah man, this beat is devolving so quickly. I'm thinking maybe another lead, but something a bit softer. Serum instance 5, now what? How many until I finally cave and then add some drums? I might delete these lower octave notes, I don't think I need them. Can't lie though, I'm kinda getting sick of using Serum. This sound right here, I never use this bro. Like every time I decide to open this plugin, there's like a 95% chance that my PC just dies. <laughs> This beat sounds so stupid. Do I dare add guitars to this beat? I'm gonna apologize in advance because as soon as I add this, it's gonna turn into a destroy lonely type beat. Like, is this really even a yeet video anymore? I should probably think about adding some drums now. I'm 
gonna mute this for now and then start working on a drum pattern. <laughs> I don't know how I'm feeling about this one. I may have to save it in the mix, we'll see. So real quick, I'm gonna mix everything down and arrange it, and then we'll see what the final beat sounds like. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought. I should probably run through a couple of changes that I made. The most noticeable thing, I've added a couple of orchestral elements. I don't think these are too common for yeet type beats. So this is kind of how I'm used to transitioning my sections. So I think I'm just gonna stick with it for now. Next thing I added, I wanted some sort of ornamentation in the beat somewhere. So I found this yell one shot off splice and I just threw some distortion on it and some reverb. And of course I've mixed down all the melodic elements, but I've also taken them out of certain sections just to make the beat less crowded. Because obviously if I play everything at the same time, it's going to sound terrible. So I think apart from that, everything is pretty much the same. So real quick, I'm just going to play the final beat and see what it sounds like.
I even say about this beat? I think overall, sounding okay. Still sounds pretty crowded, even though I've taken some elements out. I think the bass line is letting this one down a little bit, but I think mixing that just comes with practice. Like, I haven't made this genre too often. The main problem is this is just not a yeet type beat at all. I don't think there's a single track on the album that sounds even close to this. But of course, thank you for watching. Hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. So I'm going to play the beat one more time and just see what I could do better for next time.